A Texas family has lost their young son to what doctors told them is known as dry drowning. Don Champion has more on what parents should be on the lookout for in today's Health Watch. The Delgado family is grieving the loss of their four-year-old son, Frankie. He was full of life. Almost a week after a family trip, his father called 911 because Frankie stopped breathing. Doctors told him they found fluid in his lungs and around his heart. And it was called dry, dry drowning. Emergency room doctor Tom Waters from the Cleveland Clinic says dry drowning and secondary drowning can happen when a child gets sick several hours after being submerged in water, a situation that can cause airway muscles to spasm. They're trying to breathe against those closed vocal cords, which can lead to inflammation, swelling, and fluid in the lungs. Another possibility is they get a, just a little bit of the fluid into their lungs. They recover, but then hours later, that again causes inflammation, more fluid, respiratory distress. Kids may experience abnormal breathing, coughing, become lethargic or agitated. While very rare, Dr. Waters says it's critical parents keep an eye out for symptoms. If you have any concern whatsoever, the best thing to do is err on the side of the caution and take that loved one to the emergency department. And experts add drowning in general can happen in any kind of water, from the ocean to the pool to the bathtub. So caution is necessary, especially with young children. Don Champion, CBS News, Dallas. According to the Centers for Disease Control, children ages 1 to 4 have the highest rates of drowning.